we've got Seth Rogen and Jessica Williams with us. Give it up. So our next guest is pretty much the definition of an empowered woman. She is an attorney, activist, and a number one New York Times best-selling author, because she didn't have enough jobs. Her latest project is a children's book called A is for Ambitious. Please welcome Mina Harris, everybody. Woo! Did you did you know Seth or did you know no, Jessica we before? No, met for the first time today. Hi. And I, I can't believe I'm the only, apparently I learned, the only uh, one who's not a ceramist. No. I didn't get oh, no, the, I've the never, memo. Oh, I've never work. done it. Or yeah. ceramicist. I would so, want yeah. to. <laughs> I would love to do it. Right? But I've never, it seems very hard. But It's I would, pretty hard. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It really is, but it, once you start getting those pulls. Yeah. And it's like yeah. therapeutic, right? Very it's like therapeutic. really, you get yeah, to focus. Very, and, very, yeah. Maybe I'll just focus still on songs. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I think that'll take me forever, but I'd love to learn. But um, congrats on the new book. This Thank is you so much. Uh, kind of a sequel of sorts, right? Like It is. Yeah. So the first book that came, this is actually my fourth kid's book, which yeah. I never thought I would say. Uh, it is the sequel to Ambitious Girl, which yeah. is right there. And Ambitious Girl is really about the word ambitious and ambition and the way in which we as a society often use that word mm -hmm. against women and girls. And yeah. it's about the power of language uh, and really reclaiming and redefining these words on our own terms. And it's just so important. Because ambitious and being ambitious is such a great thing, but you're right, it can be used so negatively. Exactly, it's a yeah. good thing. I was raised to believe that it was a good thing, it's something to be proud of, but as we all know, society often tells women, women of color, you know, hide that. You can be ambitious, but not too ambitious, right? Yeah. Like stay, in your, stay in your lane. So that's what the first book was about, and while I was writing it and then promoting it, I was joking that. I could probably come up with a word for every letter of the alphabet that people use against women yeah. and girls. And I was like, wait, that's actually a good idea. I'm going to write an ABC book. So that's what so A cool. is for Ambitious is all about. Cool. Well, I have an eight-year-old little girl, and I love that you wrote this, because this is very important. It really to is. Get, to instill this kind of stuff, because the words matter. They're so powerful. And, and doing it early, early yeah. on, right, in our homes, using the power of yes. children's literature. To embolden huge. them and empower them at a young age is so important. Because you're right, like, I, I grew up in the South, and that's where it's like, I mean, be bold, but not that bold. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, don't outshine the boys. Yeah, like, you yeah, know, that exactly. kind of thing. No offense, I love boys. Um, but, um, <laughs> Ouch, please. So you're... Out, outshine away. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, you were raised to be empowered. Like, you were raised around pretty powerful women in general. I was. I, I did up... some research on you and your oh, family. Yeah. Well, I, I did grow up in a uh, small family that was unique in that it was all women. Yeah. It was me, my mother, my grandmother, who was really a second mother to me, and my aunt. And I joke that it was like the opening scene of the Wonder Woman movie, like these yeah. incredible women of color just like running around, With saving the world. With incredible jobs, and, like, yeah, right. really And making... all, you know, in service and, and doing really, you know, had yeah. purpose, right? And now as a parent, I appreciate that even more as an adult. <laughs> I appreciate that more, just yeah. how formative that was for me. And I think about, you know, how I'm raising my own children, not only how I can carry that legacy forward, but also mm -hmm. that my kids in, in many good ways are growing up in a different, you know, environment. Um, we let a few men in along the way so <laughs> there's that but you, you know, know have the kids yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, that's how that works um and you know just thinking about parenting in my own way right but so honoring what was so formative for me but really carrying that forward and it's ultimately in terms of the books the message is really that you know we can do all the like girl power rah rah girl power stuff at home but we know that when girls step out into the world it's, it's different is there a word or a characteristic that you kind of proudly represent that's been like here's my thing i always wanted to be a diva whenever i was a kid Oh. I mean, that was Aretha Franklin, that yes. was Whitney, that was Mariah, yeah. that was yeah. Celine. It was all these amazing women that I loved. And then when I, by the time I got to the industry, it was like, that was a horrible, shameful mm. word to be mm. called. Oh, we should have put diva for D. That's no, right. I'm just but saying so many people, words, right? no, I know there's so many words, <laughs> but it book. really, it, <laughs> it broke, <laughs> it broke, <laughs> it broke my heart though. Cause I was like, oh man, I was like, that was like my goal as a child. I was like, I'm going to be a diva when I'm older. Right. You know, cause it, it, you know, started with like, you know, even um, classical singers that were, you know, there's big operatic, sure. like, first sopranos that were just like, oh my God, you know, a diva. Like, and it changed, we've altered that name. Exactly. And, and it kind of sucks for me. That's a word I love. And you know, it's like, it's also too, because diva is very much associated with, with women. It's right. one of those things, diva, you think of someone who's demanding and asking for the best or what they feel like they deserve. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so diva is like, oh, she's asking for too much. When really it's like, Somebody probably treated that diva like trash mm -hmm. a lot of the time. So she's like, yeah, I'm a diva. I have to be this way because yeah. you, you're trying me. So mm -hmm. I like yeah. that D and I like diva. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna do you? Do, yeah, I have one. I have 
be, be black, just mm -hmm. being black mm -hmm. and what's, you know, identity. And I think a lot of times growing up people of color or woman, your identity is associated with things that are both, you know, bad and good. And it depends on where you live and where you grew up yeah. and how you internalize being black. So B for black and then probably like T for trans and like trans lives matter and mm -hmm. protect trans people at all costs. Yeah. All of that because yeah. it's like identity and racial politics yep. is really important. Absolutely. Do you have a word? You're like, he's like, I don't want to go. He's like, I don't want to go. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. I'll let them take this one. I, I, I thought your word, Seth, would be the letter H. For high? <laughs> no, hot. I would never have thought high. <laughs> Mina's new book is called A is for Ambitious. Pick it up wherever you get your books, everybody. We always suggest a small bookstore, all right? Shop locally.